Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this Linux tutorial video I'll be showing you how to use the ln command to create symbolic links, and I'll show you the difference between hard links and soft links. So the easiest way for me to demonstrate this is to create a file and show you the difference between the two methods of symbolic links, the hard link and soft link. So I'll just add the text hello world to a new file called demo.txt. And sure enough, if I take a look at the file demo.txt, we see the words hello world. Excellent. So the usage of the ln command is ln. The default is the hard links, and the syntax is target followed by source. And the target in this instance is a single file, but I could also use an entire folder. And I'll call it demo hard. And for softer links, I have to pass the argument dash s. And the syntax is the same again, so it's target followed by source. And I'll call the source in this instance demo soft. I know it's a bit pointless doing this in one folder, but this is for demonstration purposes. Normally I'll be using a completely different folder, which would make more sense for the usage of the ln command. If I do an ls, we can see that demo soft is referencing demo.txt, but on demo hard, there's no such reference at all. You wouldn't even know that's a symbolic link just glancing at it. And you can see the size difference. So we have 12 bytes, 12 bytes, they're the same, but the symbolic link is only eight bytes, it's smaller. And if I take a look at the inodes, I suppose the simplistic way of looking at it is this is where the actual file is located on the hard drive, its specific track and sector point. I know I'm using very old terms here, but that's, I suppose, something I can understand really. So this file allocation table is a simplistic way of looking at where the files are located, and the number there is the exact data point on the hard drive. And what you'll notice is this number ending 879 is exactly the same as demo hard. So that is the inode reference, which is the same between the two files. And the soft link is a different inode number. If I take a look at each file, so cat demo hard and demo soft, and that's exactly the same contents for each file, which is what I would expect. If I change the original file by adding something else to it, and I would expect the symbolic links to keep up with that change. And sure enough, that is exactly what happened. But what happens if I rename the file? Well, this is where we see the difference between the hard links and soft links. So, renaming or moving the file demo.txt to other.txt. And if I take a look at the output of ls, well, you can see now that demo soft has broken. It's now highlighted in red that demo.txt no longer exists. However, the inode position is still the same. Ending 879, ending 879. So if I try and take a look at the output of the file, well, cat demo soft will break, no such file or directory. But looking at demo hard, we still have the file. So that is the difference between a hard link and a soft link. The hard link references the file's exact point on the hard drive, so it doesn't matter if you change the file name. However, the limitation of it is that it can only be used in the single partition that you're currently on. The difference with softlink is that it references the file name rather than its location on the hard drive, and you can reference to a different hard drive. So that's useful, say, if you've got files on a NAS or network attached storage device, and you want to be able to access them easily from your home folder. For example, I could have created a new folder here called Data1 Games to reference the mount drive Data1 and Games. Taking a look at ls-l, I can see the symbolic link Data1 Games goes to slash mnt slash data1 slash games. So if I go across into it and do ls, I can see a couple of folders of games which I have on a completely different drive. That was a look at how to use the ln command in Linux to create symbolic links. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.